man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men. He is the first of his own cause, seemeth just. But his neighbor cometh and searcheth him. The lot causeth contentions to cease and parteth between the mighty. A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city, and their contentions are like the bars of a castle. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat up the fruit thereof. Whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of the Lord. The poor useth entreaties, but the rich answereth roughly. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. This is from Proverbs 18. You know, the Bible's full of knowledge that as men we have to seek. Today on Well, I wanted to, I've I really been struck for words lately. We have entered into a time when, when words are so powerfully being used to destroy um, and not build up. You know, individually, we have to, we have to take hold and we have to become more accountable for our words. See, speech is not free. That's the that's the misnomer that so many live by. Free to, sp speech is not free. There's always a cost. There's always a cost. Um, all, all speech is not protected under the law. All speech is not protected under the law. Uh, you know, Constitution is really not that hard to study. If that's what you, if that's what you need to do, just study it. It's not that complicated. But the law of the human condition of, of civility, of just, you know, you know, family structure, you know, of, you know, human decency, as long as that's something that you crave and seek, if you crave to be a decent human, that's one thing. If you don't, that's another. Okay? It's another. Um, this is, you know, free will. These are choices. But, you know... This has been a very interesting time, got to say, you know, none of us are exempt. Um, you know, we definitely have a, a shifting, you know, generational shifts. You know, we have a lot of things shifting in culture. Um, but what is more important than ever is our communication, our, our, our you know, words um what we've seen lately you know you know around myself around you know around others is this power struggle that is being done very poorly and there's tearing down um without understanding the responsibility of building up. See, all all bridges can't be, well, not talking about, you know, God bless, you know, what happened in Baltimore this week, not talking about those bridges, but, but you know, the same is still true. Um, as we've seen, you know, literally and figuratively, you know, tearing down bridges is very destructive and it's very harmful. 
you know, in, 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 in the physical and in the, in the, um, you know, the, the ideological, um, you know, it's imperative. We, 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 we take, you know, accountability, responsibility, but understand, you know, you can say something, but you're not immune from the consequences of saying it. Case in point, what you say may even achieve your particular goal, but it may have unintended consequences that ends up hurting others that you did not intend because you had to say what you felt that you needed to say and have harbored, and this is the thing, harbored, when you harbor feelings for so long and you, you, you struggle to find a place to unload them as if, and see, here's the thing. We live in a world that's been so romanticized over the past, you know, 40 years to believe that everyone has, you know, inalienable rights to everything. Um, when in, 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 a, in a society, in a civilization, you know, there, there are guardrails that are set up um, that we conduct ourselves in certain ways. Um, just like we don't go out and commit, you know, you know, break you know, the law and commit crimes. Well, we don't. We also conduct ourselves in a manner amongst those that we are in uh, in 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 culture with and in, in, in civilization with, you know, whether it's, you know, family, friends, you know, what have you, we don't get to maliciously use our tongues as we would so like to. Believe me, I'm not exempt from this. I've, I've learned the hard way and, you know, I've worked to rectify myself. So when it comes to this particular conversation, you know, I've spent a lot of years intentionally sculpting how I how I how I talk and communicate with people in order to convey my message, but yet at the same time not tear down, not maliciously um, destroy. And this is even before I knew the Word of God, before I knew that you know that. We commit murder with our tongues more than we do in the physical, you know, and, 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 you know, what God has you know, mandated us to do is to really, you know, guard our minds, you know, we'll kill people in our minds, you know, without even killing them physically. But, you know, to, it's just, as, it's just as much a sin to kill them in our mind. Um, you know, we have to really, you know, we, 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 we want others to feel for us and treat us right, but yet we're not treating each other right. We're not, we're not, we're not caretaking of others. You know, people want something that they're not willing to give, you know, and we're faced with that right now at, at high levels. You know, people want things that they're not willing to give. They feel like they deserve or they're owed something. Nothing could be further from the truth. Nothing could be further from the truth. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is, is, you know, what you're owed you know, <laughs> what we're all owed is is death and hell because we're all born in sin. You know, that's what we're owed. That's what, <laughs> to be honest, but God sent Jesus to die upon the cross for our sins. You know, and this, is not a, this, is not a, this is not a biblical conversation. I'm just saying, you know, this is life. This is life, you know, and, and, and the biblical lessons are part of life. You know, God, you know, literally laid out these principles for us to, 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 to do better, to be better, you know, and we fail because we, we, we're unaware of them. We're unaware of them, you know, um, and what we have today in 2024 is we have intentional ignorance and that's what we can no longer continue to tolerate, intentional ignorance. This is one of those times in history where you don't get to just be ignorant of, of, of knowledge and wisdom just because you don't, just because you choose not to do it and still be productive and still be a part of the, 
you know, the, um, the civilization at the same level and appreciate the same benefits of the civilization. Now, you don't get to just do that. You don't get to just, you know, say what you want to say and, you know, and, and, and everybody else got to deal with it. Well, guess what? Well, I mean, you can do it, but there's a consequence. There's a consequence. And if you're not prepared for the consequence, don't do it. You know, but if you've done it, you know, understand there is a consequence. You know, there's life and death in the tongue. You know, there's life and death. You know, um, resurrecting life after you've, you know, killed, that's for God to do. You know, we don't get to just do that. You know, if we kill somebody, you know, they're dead. You know, we don't get to we don't get to bring them back because oh, I was just mad at the time. Oh, well, well, same thing, you know, I mean, you know, with 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 the words when we when we when we kill somebody with the words. Sorry, don't always fix it. You know, I heard an interesting perspective <clears throat> not too long ago when it comes to forgiveness. And it was very interesting, you know, um, you can only, you know, people ask for forgiveness but in this perspective, which was very interesting, and I'm definitely going to delve more into it. But if 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 the person that you're forgiving um, didn't basically, if 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 you're asking me to forgive you, and I didn't ask, and I did not tell you that I want you know to forgive you, or that I want you to apologize. You're apologize. You're 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 you. You can't just you know ex, you know be forgiven if 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 I didn't invite you to you know to 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 forgive you. Meaning I don't have to forgive you. Um, I don't have to forgive you. I don't have to even want to expect to. I don't even you know have to pursue your forgiveness. Now, if I don't pursue your forgiveness. You know, I can't expect your forgiveness, you know, but the reality of it is, is, you know, forgiveness is interesting. If you've got a history of certain offenses, your apology is really not that sincere because we know that you're going to, you know, if you're a repeat offender, there's a really good chance you're going to offend again. So your apology is just going through the motions. It didn't fix anything and it hasn't healed anything. But the damage that you did do, you know, has left a has left a you know a gaping wound that you may never be able to fix or repair. So it's best that you really conduct yourself and really think to yourself, you know, is this something I need to say? Is this something that I really have to say to this person? You know, and this is, I mean, this is not directed to anybody in particular because there's a lot going on right now. There's a lot going on right now. There's a lot. I mean, unfortunately, oh, Father Jesus, there's a lot going on right now. There's a lot being said by a lot of people all over the world. I mean, this is like rampant. I'm like, you know, and, and people are just, you know, talking even without all of the facts, you know, whether it's, you know, going on with the celebrities and stuff. We're talking without all of the facts, you know, but they're making, they're saying things that can't be, you know, when the facts do come out or what have you, then, you know, people are going to be like, oh, well, I didn't know. So I'll just, you know, no, you said what you said, you know, when the facts come out, okay, they, they were guilty, but when the facts come out and they, oh, they weren't guilty. Oh, wow. But you said what you said. Well, I was just saying, cause I thought it the, you said what you said. As adults, guess what? What you've done is a couple of things. You've either made yourself appear very ignorant, immature, or that you just are thoughtless and do not care about others. And so what that in effect does is that makes everybody else see you and they're like, oh, I see how they conducted themselves there and how they conducted themselves there. Um, you know, do I even want to employ this person? Do I even want to, you know, um, 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 
you know, do, do, do anything with this person. Do, you know, this is, it's bad for your brand. It's bad for your brand. And so it's very important, you know, that we really, really, you know, get in tone. This is, and I go back to this, you know, I've talked to a lot of people over the past few years, it goes back to self-mastery, but the reality of it is, is we cannot continue to just say anything. You know, this year myself, like I say, this year, I mean, I mean, I've worked on this for a lot of years and this year it's, it's more of a struggle than ever for me. Um, there are things that I, that I feel like I, that I have to communicate, but I, you know, communicating even like this, I don't know, my feel is, is, you know, you know, unproductive for, for, for certain individuals, for them to understand and grasp what needs to be said. But unfortunately I can't, you know, I, I want to revert to say, you know, more, you know, elementary, you know, conversation um, in order to maybe hopefully appeal more to what they're, they're going to understand and comprehend. And I have to say to myself, no, James, no, 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 you, you, you know, this is a struggle for me. It's a struggle for me. I, you know, it's kind of funny, you know, um, me and um, some close family members, we, we kind of use this, uh, this kind of, um, I don't know, this colloquialism of, 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 you know, flip, flip, flop, flip, you know, if, 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 you know, we get, you know, in the situation where we, we usually, you know, use some, you know, colorful language, you know, like say, oh, flip, flip, oh, oh I want to just, ooh, I want to flip, flip, you know, you know, well, you know, that's becoming more complicated in the world that we're in because there are so many, you know, attacks and so many levels of communication are so, you know, so elementary still because there's still a lot of learning that has to happen for a lot of people in order to have an elevated conversation. And it's very frustrating because we got to get, we got a lot to get done, you know, in, in tandem and, you know, in together as teams, but we can't. We have a communication divide that's that's making that even harder for us to do. So it's 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 very it's very complicated, you know. But praise God, you know. I mean, you know, we have to. I'm also at the age now where you know having to understand we're having a you know changing of the guard. You know, our seniors they're they're passing. You know, every every day. this year this year we've lost a lot, um, and. It's just the first quarter of the year. Um, you've got three more quarters of the year, and there's a you know the reality of it is, is we're gonna lose more. You know that they've re they've run a rate they've you know done some awesome job. I mean you know praise God. I mean you know they've made it you know you know to the eighties and eighty five, eighty six, eighty seven. I mean they made they've contributed you know so much, and they've done their parts. You know. Um, and was no easy task for them, you know, and we have to, we have to now pick up the mantle and we have to, you know, hold ourselves to another standard. You know, I was looking the other day, I always forget, it was one of the, was somebody I was looking at, I forget what it was, it was a rapper or something, but um, he had a, you know, a statement on his hat, you know, and it was kind of funny because, you know, when I was um in high school, when I was about 18 years old, I used to have, you know, the same statement on the side of my hat. I used to wear all my hats. I got it, you know, imprinted on all my hats. I was just, you know, you know, I, I wish, you know, I'll say whatever, you know, it's whatever, you know. And I'm like, oh wow, you know, here we are, huh, you know, 32 years later, you know, 32 years later, and, and and we still have that on our hat. I mean, we there's a lot that hasn't changed, and there's a lot we have to we have to change. We have to. We have to grow. We have to evolve because a lot. The world has evolved. The world has evolved in a lot of ways, and in, in in every way. And to see that some of these same um, ideals, you know, haven't changed from 30 years ago, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, you know, is very disconcerting because we have so much we have to get done, and we don't have the opportunity to not have evolved from then and from there. And so. Hopefully some of this makes sense. It's just it's just one of those times where I just, you know, say, well, you know, I haven't made a video in a while. And I'm, I'll be honest, be honest, you know, I struggle with having anything to say right now to people because um, I have a lot to say. 
but I have a hard time struggling because if ears aren't open, if, if minds aren't open to hear and receive, there's nothing, I feel that there's nothing I can say that's going to be impactful for anyone or it's going to, you know, you know, make sense to anyone. I mean, even though, but I'm making this video today because I feel like, even though I feel this way, that somebody, I hope somebody, you know, needs to hear this. I hope somebody can benefit from hearing this. Um, you know, honestly, I don't feel like talking to people, even though I feel like talking to people, but I don't feel like talking to people who can't hear. Um, and it's, it's very delicate for me, but you know, you know, I gotta, you know, God is leading me and, and I gotta, you know, I gotta, you know, not close myself off because I don't feel like anyone's is listening because I know someone somewhere is listening. And so this video is for you. I made this video for you today.